Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Time Rocker. Uh, did a little bit of uh, of research today, if you will. Uh, and what that research is is I was curious if you can or how do you cactuar grind in co-op. And I know you're probably thinking like Time, like how you can't cactuar grind co-op. It, it's it, that's crazy talk. I'm like, well, it is crazy talk, and that's why I did it. So. I have, because I have the two main accounts, or I have two accounts right now, right? I have the two of them going. I kind of want to show you guys that you actually can Cactuar Grind co-op. Realistically, you're not going to do it with randos. It's going to have to be somebody, at least one person or two people you know doing it together. Uh, I was curious about if it could be done because I have the two accounts going. I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. Let me, let me see if it's possible. So I'm going to break down how you do it and all the different things I tested. It's, it's very similar almost pretty much identical in a sense to doing regular um regular cactuar grinding right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and create a co-op fight so let's go in here right so let's go join co-op and it's it is a bit longer and, and it, it is it is a pain <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it is a pain so part of the reason why i thought about doing this i was like man I don't have a strong enough character to let me pick randos for this, right? I need 48,000, and I think the strongest I have right now is like 42,000. So I was like, boy, that sucks. I can only do the other one. Um, so, where's Aerith? There she is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a match, and I'm going to go at times three, right? So just like you would if you're Cactuar grinding, you're probably going to start off at times three. So, and I'm going to have to use a pot here, which is fine. So we're going to go times three. I'm going to bring up this other window so I can see it easier. <laughs> All right, so we got there. We got the second window, as you can see, my other account. And I'm going to take this lobby ID. We have that copied. I'm going to go into co-op content here. And then I'm going to go lobby ID here. And I'm going to punch that lobby. Just copy that bad boy in. And we're going to join. We're going to join the party. As Sephiroth. Now, this is the account that I don't need to grind this for. So this one isn't going to do times three. I'm just going to sit at times 20. I don't need to do anything else. This one will always sit at times 20. So if you have like friends or you, you want to do this option for a second account, this is how you would do it, right? So your strong, big, strong account, you're going to do it times 20. Unless you need the materials or whatever's in that co-op, then, then yeah, you want to go at times six or times three. Otherwise, just do times 20 or times one like I'm doing here. I keep saying times 20. Um, so you're going to do that and then let's just go ahead and ready up. So this is, this is the times three for the account that I want to get the times three. And then the other account, I don't, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. All that matters is, is it, they're just there to take care of the fight and actually make it so we can clear it. Right? So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and, and crush through this. So if we, here's what's going to happen. Just like any old, any old grunt cactuar farming. Perfect. Look at that. We got a cactuar right off the bat. Love it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure um, things are going as they need to go. I should be able to just auto this for now, right? This is this is pretty straightforward. Oh, shoot. You know what? <laughs> Aerith's not auto. There we go. So I'm just going to let my I'm just going to let my game rock. It's a nice gold cactuar. It can't go any faster, unfortunately. Come on, cactuar, go to heck. Yeah, get rid of that jazz. Get rid of the Giles. Oh, we're cruising, dude. We're cruising. Sephiroth has all the chill, <laughs> if you will. Damn, we're in row to finish it off. Perfect. So we got a Cactuar. So we're gonna actually, we're actually gonna get uh, exactly what I'd like to see here. So just to kind of explain things here a little bit. So the way the co-op works and what I've discovered and how it seems to work is the co-op is based off of the entirety of the team right so i i don't really have a way to test it in, in the sense of if the team leaves and get back gets back together does it retain the same team idea id if you will there's re not really a way why are you not healing i don't know why she wasn't healing so i don't really have a way to test that but what i have found is that if i if i have one person on the team leave and I have them go do f that same exact fight with random players. It doesn't matter how many times and I come back to the same person with the same team or whatever. It won't actually change anything. Um, I won't be able to get a Cactuar. It doesn't work. I also did it. I, and I did it in two ways. I took Sephiroth. I, I tested it with him to see, hey, if I take Sephiroth, I go put him in another fight. Let's go ahead and use, uh, go ahead and use this here. 
Will Sephiroth give me uh, the ability to get a Cactuar? Uh, I did about 15 runs or so of Sephiroth, Sephiroth leaving and then coming back. Uh, couldn't get a Cactuar to show up, right? I did. Then, then what I did is I was like, well, maybe it has to be the party leader. So I set it up so Sephiroth was always the party leader, which is my main account. And then went to see if... Did I just completely skip a phase? Okay, no. <laughs> and then went to see if um, if that would work. And he'd come back and he would make the party have Aerith, this lower tier uh, uh, account, join and see if I get a Cactuar. Couldn't get a Cactuar. Remember, I did, like again, 15 attempts. No Cactuar. I'm like, okay. So what I did instead is I'll show you if, if I can get it to happen here. Uh, which is, it is a little bit of a grind. Nice. Let's see what we got here, though. Did we get... All right, we got a, we got an axe, a five-star axe. That's what we like. Cool. That's what I'm looking for for this account. I'm looking for those uh, those Afrit weapons. I've gotten a, a good chunk of them so far, so that's nice. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ready up again. We're just going to do the same fight. So I need to use a tonic here. And I'm going to need to use a tonic down here anyway. We'll do that. So on both accounts, I'm doing the tonics. Right? So we're going to hit retry. And then the two are going to go back together. So what I'm going to do is if we don't get a Cactuar... I'm going to force myself to lose the fight, right? So unlike, <laughs> unfortunately, even though the, this is a custom-made team, we can't just decide to quit altogether, which I think is silly. I think I think any team really should be able to vote for a quit, and if everybody agrees to quit, yeah, there you go. Fight's done, right? All right, perfect. So we got no, we got no, um, nothing here that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and just waste, we're going to waste stuff, and, uh, and Afrid will be able to kill me pretty quick. We're not. We're actually gonna get off of auto there. So we just want we want a freak to waste us because what I need to do is I I need to get back into using the lower stamina to get uh, to basically reset the fight for a chance at a cactor. So there you go. Sets down, and then he she won't die until uh, he does his little his little move here. Charge. There it is. We gotta we gotta wait on that. You know, it takes like an hour. It feels like an hour. So this is why I say this is this is probably not for the faint of heart. And it's only going to be uh, for people that really, really, really want to min-max and grind this stuff out either with friends or whatever. To, you know, make sure you guys get Cactuars. And if you're doing it all together, like you and one other person can clear something and because you're, you're so strong. Or, or uh, three people together that you guys are all together on Discord. You know, if you want a Cactuar grind, that's perfect. So when you lose, you're going to come to this screen here. This is what you would see if you're in a in a custom made party. Anybody that's doing times three, you want to go to unused, right? Just like you would if you were quitting a fight and then going into you know doing it again on times twenty. The key here though is do not change the party. Don't change the party. If somebody leaves, it will reset essentially the Cactuar ID or the party ID. Because I now now I know it shows lobby ID. I don't know if that. If, if that changes anything or if it has anything to do with the lobby ID and if you come back with the same people. But from my testing, it does seem like if I have one person leave, go do the fight and come back and join, that's not enough to get a Cactuar to pop up. One person can't do it. It seems like everybody collectively has to do it. So I don't know if it makes a party ID, even though it has a lobby ID, it makes a party ID for this fight based on our, our accounts. So it might, it might make this like... I guess you want to call it a special account ID where it takes, okay, this person and this person gets a special ID and then and then that's what refreshes. That's for, for the Cactuar attempt, right? It's a bit different. So, and that's why I was trying to figure out, hey, can one person leave and do it? Because that'd be fantastic uh, to have only have to have one person do it. And you could really, you could really spread out the stamina, right? And so I tested it a bunch. I did, it took me hours today to test it because I had to join with randos and and, and whatnot. So now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna actually we're gonna actually have to beat win this fight. We have to beat this fight, right? And this is the only way to reset it. So you have to basically retry the fight, come back in and do it again. So we're gonna go ahead and just we'll kill him here real quick, as fast as I can, just popping out uh, aerial frost blade. Just keep it going. Shouldn't take too long. And so I use Aerith for this because it's it's actually much easier because she heals me up. So it makes it it just makes it so I have much less chance of dying. So there we go. He's down to nothing. And then once I summon, especially he'll he'll get cooked. Well, frozen. I don't I don't know if you could actually cook a freak because he's fire. Usually cooking involves heat. 
And I don't think you can burn that guy. All right. There we go. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep focusing on attack. I don't have a reason to do anything else here. Waiting for that max meter, like always. There we go. So I just let I just let Aerith do everything on auto. I don't have to pay attention to her for this. And then I just keep doing it. Bam. Just keep going. Don't let it stop. And then once I get my summon, I pop the summon and I'm just I'm done with the fight. I really I don't even know if I have to summon. I may ah, I guess I would have to summon. Yeah, because Shiva will uh, Shiva will do everything I need here at this point. And that'll finish it. Perfect. Alright, so now that'll re reset the RNG or the seed, or if you will, is, is what, what a lot of people call it. So that'll reset it, and then now I can go back in and retry the fight again. Come on, five star. Dang. Retry the fight again. Um, but this time I'm going to go back to the times three. And we're going to retry there. And then this one, again, this one doesn't matter. We just retry it, retry it the, the times one. And then we prage for a cactuar. That simple. So that's all you're going to do. You're just going to come in. So let's see if we end up getting a cactuar here or not. Um, it's it's very similar, but the key thing is, is you're going to have to make yourself lose. So you can do it fairly quick. And realistically, this is probably... This probably... Yeah, no cactuar, unfortunately. So this probably takes about as long as it would be if you were um, doing some of the grinding fights or doing the cactuar trick with the fights where you have like a row, a row of enemies. It's probably a little bit longer, I guess, because but but some of those are still long, right? Because you have to go through like two fights to see if there's a cactuar and if there's no cactuar, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, that's this is more or less how you cactuar uh, farm if you ever wanted to do it for uh, for co-op. It is doable. It is a pain, but yeah, I did all the testing that way you guys and nobody else has to do it. It's been about three hours to do it. Um, but yeah, so now you know how to do it if you guys do want to, you or your friends or whatever. But anyway, uh, I will see you guys next time. Keep rocking. I'll see you later. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.